Connor, just uh, just your thoughts on tonight and, and the hill you guys uh, faced down 0-3. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously uh, not, not a great situation to be in. Um, you know, down three. Series isn't over, obviously. Um, you know, we got to go one at a time here. Second row on the left. Uh, Connor, just the, the 10 second span when Bush hit the post and comes down the other way, I mean, could have been 3 2 for you guys instead, it's the other way. Uh, it's a game of inches. Um, you know, obviously, it showed there. Um, you know, if that's an, an inch on the other side for Bush, it's in. Um, you know, we're up 3 2 and having a different conversation here. So, um, you know, obviously, like I said, um, not a great situation, but not over. Similar question for you, Mike. Like, uh, just a you know a post at one end, a goal at the other. You know, lots of good chances. I know you saw quite a bit of rubber tonight. Is this just is this a tough one to lose because of how tight it was and, and some bounces like that? Yeah, it's playoff hockey. It's uh, every play counts, and uh, you know it obviously stings to go down three three nothing. But uh, um, saying that, it's it's not over till you lose four and. We got to come back uh, in game four and try and win one game and, and move on from there. But obviously, the desperation level has to be at, at an all-time high in order to uh, you know to win it at this time of the year. And it comes from everybody in the room, just a little bit more. And and uh, like Connor said, it's a game of inches. It, it's it's uh, there's not a lot of space out there, but you just gotta you gotta give everything you have for one game. Back right. Uh, Connor, uh, over the course of the playoffs as a team, you guys have done a great job of, of scoring goals, a lot of goals. What do you think uh, has changed over the last couple of games to, to, for, to prevent that from happening? What? Uh, over the last couple of Prevent what from happening? Uh, from scoring goals as a team. What's, what's uh, stopping them? Yeah, oh, okay. exactly. Um, uh, they're a good hockey team. I'm going to keep saying that. Um, you know, they obviously do a lot of good things defensively and offensively. Um, you know, we're a good team too, and, and uh, we have to find a way to score. Um, got to find a way to defend as well. Um, I think we all, uh, like, like Smitty said, you know, can, uh, can go up uh, in our desperation. It has to be a, an all-time high, like he said, and we go one at a time. Left side, Mark. Mike, that might be as good a game as you've played here, uh, and you still let in three. They were, the sum of the quality chances you faced were exceptionally high. Is this, is 43 shots against this team a little bit different than 43 shots against most teams? I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, they're a good, like, they're a good team. They, they can burn you if you give them, you know, if you give them opportunities. They, they have good players that, that are in the conference finals for a reason, and they're, you know, they can, they can sting you. So um, that being said, you just got to, Take it one shot at a time and try and make saves for your team when when there's opportunities there. And, and unfortunately tonight it it didn't happen. Connor, you guys had the building, the crowd, the energy. You get an early goal. How much wind did it take out of your sails to to suddenly have to kill? I mean, a seven minutes in penalties for the rest of that period there. But the kill did a great job. You know, absolute warriors on the kill. Um, you know, getting in in the way and of, of some big shots and obviously dog. Uh, Hung in there and, and did a great job for us. Um, I thought he actually gave us a little bit of momentum. Um, you know, obviously, the, the the tying goal there at the end of the first is a fluky one, and that probably takes a little bit of you know wind out of the sails. But um, you know, I thought uh, I thought the kill did great.